Shahin Shah Freedy. Yeah. Starts with one on the leg side and they pick up a boundary early doors. You lefties, you love one of those, Mark Butcher. Toss, he clipped away just in front of square for four. This time he times it and beautifully either. Oh, edge this time, that'll race away. Already heard how quick this outfield is. Ooh, ouch. Out. Alex Hales pouches it safely at mid off. Lewis Reese not being able to get to going out there, didn't get the elevation on that full delivery. And he's got six wickets prior to this, so that's his seventh. And he's making an instant impact. Might have felt he had the chance to get the elevation there with the length, but Alex Hales safely pouches the cat. Went after that and it's gone straight up. Another one, double wicket over for Jake Ball. Exactly what the outlaws are after in the final over of the power play. Back outside of the circle. Takes another good catch. It's an excellent power play now for the outlaws. Yeah, simple catch. Jake Ball doing... Uh... Dead. Cut! Helped on its way from Madsen and finds the best. Catch it! gone up and it's gone up a long way yeah! good catch very good catch Harrison in the deep safely pouches Alex Hales wasn't too far away Ida Ali couldn't quite find the middle of the bat on this occasion it's just ended up dragging it it's an off pace delivery it's just nothing to work for you've got to come at him I think if you're looking to go in that direction pays the price good catch in the end got there nicely Lovely shot, lovely shot, super shot. Catch it. Width there. A little bit of width just to free the arms. Great effort, not quite enough. Oh. Hey, Big effort from Madsen, not the middle of the bat, and that is not his strength hitting down the ground. And Shane Shahrafridi with the simplest of catches. Yeah, just overhitting. Oh. Overhitting, not looking for the timing. Right at the bottom of the bat, Shaheen does very well. Swung away, leg side, and might be good enough, it is. It's high in the air, and it's drifting away towards long on. Comfortably taken. He's been in the game, has uh, Calvin Harrison, and he's taken another one. Shaheen gets his first of the evening. He'd already started the downswing before he realised, realises it about now. just hovered in the air to Harrison who made absolutely no mistake really with the customary oh he does he does just misses his length a little bit inside the circle mid off oh that one's gone over long on really good strike big side and help yourself to Get it over, he doesn't, doesn't. Good catch. Excellent work, Alex Hales at uh, mid-off, up inside the circle. Ah! Derbyshire knew that they had to come out, or felt that they had to come out and make 200 from the off. And so therefore, they pushed and perhaps ended up short of par on a surface that wasn't quite so good. Clark 254, so pretty similar. Oh! Colin Munro would be similar as well, 294, but just... Oh, that sweet timing, but uh, not quite the connection. He helped on his way, a little wayward. Ah! Lovely connection, sweet timing. What a shot, what a shot. That is one of his signature shots. Does play that shot well. Plays that shot pretty well as, as well. Bounce, a little bit of bounce, and that has accounted for Joe Clark.
the pace, but more the bounce. Yeah, and maybe he's saying, you know what, I should have gone behind square. He didn't on this occasion. It's just crept him for a little bit of room, and that extra bounce couldn't get on top of it, Clark. Pretty comfortable for Chapel. In his way around from mid on. The tall timber combined for Derbyshire. Edge and gone, he's got another for Derbyshire, and they picked up two in quick succession. Maybe back in the game, Mark Butcher. Welcome back. This is Daily Diary. I did get it right, I did get it right. Thousand and one comebacks with Dominic. Struggling. It might still be tight. Just didn't skip off the surface that second bounce. Needed a direct hit. He'll probably look to do the same thing again. Another one gone high in the air. Scrim short. He's got two. Oh, they're up now, the crowd. They're making some noise. Four and a half thousand of them. Puzzling option, really. Scrimshaw, big, tall mound, gets a lot of pace in that. Not entirely sure where he was trying to hit it, but in the end, it ended up in the hands of Deploy, who tries to get the crowd going. A place or two. Oh, no, George. Short, fine leg up inside the circle. So there's an easy two dinked into the offside, but onside, but Samet goes off. Oh, swings that leg side and goes all the way. Shot. Oh, that is good. Uh, yeah! Oh, well, well, well. Mark Watt with the 25 yarder. That is a huge wicket. Now then. Now then, Derbyshire. 25, 26 yards. Alex Hales was trying to unleash something violent over extra cover. Great celebration, and they know they're still just about in the contest. Oh, shot. So, so good. He gets the short ball and holds out to the short ball. Zaman Khan takes a really good catch down by his toes and a very fine, fine leg. Lair's deploy, bringing back his strike bowler, has pulled off the magic trick of getting rid of Samit Patel. Called back into play right on cue. And Samit Patel just helps it on its way, and that is an excellent catch. Never easy when it's hit flat and hard. Down, down. Finds the gap. Once he finds the gap, it's four. up and dispatched oh, would you believe it finds the gap finds the gone the very best of Zaman Khan he didn't pick the ball before and he certainly didn't pick that one great choice to bring Zaman Khan back into the attack they're not out of it yet Pulled the right rein Yorker spot on sees the end of Mullaney 20 from 18 required now. One, two, three. Big shot down the ground from Shaheen Shah Afridi. Oh, it's gone up. It's gone up a long, long way. It's gone up. It's gone up a long way. And simple catch. Yes. May have been hit for six a couple of balls ago. A shake of the head for Zaman Khan. It's a moral victory. That is all for Zaman Khan. Freedy goes. Shaheen. Just got cramped for room. Couldn't free those big long arms. Popped straight up. There was three that could have gone for it. In the end, it was the skipper. That is that, that is that, that is that, what a sad way for the game to end, although it's probably going to end uh, in the favour of the Outlaws anyway.